this is Kitty Cat Plays with Yarn here, and welcome to another Townie Makeover. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I haven't done one of these in forever, and it also feels like I haven't done a voiceover in forever. Um, and maybe it's in part because I haven't? Um, I've been doing Let's Plays and stuff. So, yeah. Um, but this is a makeover of the Valerials, I think that's how you say it. Um, so we are starting with Jacquez, as Deli calls him, um, Jock. And, yeah, it's, they turn out pretty cute in my opinion, and they do have custom content on them, obviously, because that's how I roll. And if you want to download them, they are on the gallery under the hashtag kittycatpwy, or my origin ID, which is kittycatpwy16. So be sure to go and check them out if you want. Um, but like I said, they do have custom content, so it's up to you. And now I'm going to get into a little story that I had happen to me at work, t not yesterday, two days ago, um, as of recording this video. So I have a torn meniscus in my left knee, and I also believe I have one in my right knee. Um, and it tore because um, I have flat feet, like, it, like close, exact to the floor. Like, I have no arch in my foot. And that makes me have a condition where I walk on like the more insides of my feet if that makes any sense um and it puts more pressure on the knee uh, or like the meniscus so that's how it tore and so um that's really besides the point though but I have a torn meniscus and I work as a cashier which kind of sucks standing all the time um because the the torn meniscus is um menisci cause my knees to hurt um a lot of the time very excruciating pain it feels like a very sharp stabbing pain um you know it's not great and so i have a doctor's note from work or from my doctor for work that allows me to have a stool at work because you know cashiering they're standing all day um so i have a stool that I can sit on and, you know, like, um, I don't sit on it, like, at the register. I sit at the end, um, because our boss likes us to be at the end of the register and ask people if they need help finding anything or if they, um, if they're ready to check out and then if they're ready to check out, we obviously check them out. Um, and, you know, like, you, you know what I mean. Um, so I, I take the stool to the end and sit there so I can... Um, so I can be at the end, and it'll give me more motivation to be up there, because I hate being there anyway. Um, for whatever reason, I don't really know. So, yeah. <laughs> so I was doing that the other day. Um, and I don't get the stool all the time. I do it when my knees really, really hurt. Um, and the other, so my, my knees were really hurting really bad the other day. So I asked the person that was in the office, I was like, hey, can I get the stool? You know, I have a doctor's note, blah, blah, blah. They're like, oh yeah, definitely, that's fine. So I I got the stool and I put it at the end of my register where it's supposed to be and I was sitting there and this woman comes up to me. I've never seen her before so I assume she's from out of town um, because my store's like right off the interstate. Um, so yeah. <laughs> so I, I just assumed she was out of town whatever. We get a lot of people from out of town so I didn't really say much. Um, and she looks at me and she goes, wow, you're doing a lot of hard work today in the most condescending tone I have ever fucking heard in my three years of cashiering. Like, oh, uh, okay, I was so, it pissed me off to an extreme that, like, I don't even know why it pissed me off as much as it did, but I... I got so angry, I was, I like started shaking. I was just filled with rage at this point and I don't know why. Like, I mean, sure, like her comment was asinine and dumb and bitchy, but why did it get me so angry? Um, and this is coming from me. Like, I don't even understand why it got me so angry, but it did. So, so yeah, that's, um, great. <laughs> so that happened at work and I wasn't impressed. Um, and this was like the first, hour of my shift so I I was really ready to go home by the end of that I mean given it was only a five hour shift I believe um but still it was I don't know things get on my nerves sometimes 
Um, especially when people question, like, my worth, work ethic and things to, of that nature. Um, but yeah, so it, I wasn't impressed and I wasn't happy. Um, because, you know, a customer that probably has a super bougie job. Because she looked as though she, like, worked in an office or something. Um, and I'm not saying office jobs are, like, bougie, but they're different compared to, like, cashiering or waitressing. Um, and for obvious reasons, you know, like cashiering, you're standing up all the time, waitressing, you're standing up all the time, while office jobs, you tend to be sitting at the computer, typing up documents, uh, making copies, things like that. You're not standing all the time, and you don't have to really deal with the public as much, unless, unless you work at a call center or something to that extent. Um, yeah, so <laughs> that, uh, that happened, and it was coming from someone who probably doesn't know the type of pain I'm in, um, because I am young, so people don't really understand why I have the stool, why I have the brace on, um, so, yeah, I don't know, it was just, it just really bugged me for whatever reason, and she was just really rude the whole, the rest of the time I was cashing her out, too, um, so, yeah, I don't know, it just, mm, like, reasons I hate people. <laughs> Honestly, though, um, yeah, so that happened. Anyway, we're working on Hugo now, and I gave him those glasses from Vintage Glamour, which I think they fit perfectly on him, like, for real, though. Um, and we, f we finish up Jock and Luna, um, and Hugo doesn't take long, but he does take longer than I expected. Um, yeah, and this in total took me, like, 45 minutes, um, just because it's a big family, though there is only one girl, so yeah. And Jock did take me a while, too, actually. Um, the only one that took- the one that took the shortest was Max, and I think that's just because he's a child and children have less options, um, especially when you don't have as much custom content for kids, because lord knows I sure as hell don't. <laughs> um, but yes, you guys, anyways, I am going to get going right meow. I do have some screenshots at the end, um, well, eight, two screenshots, before and afters. So yes, I am going to get going right meow, but I hope you guys are having a perfect afternoon, evening, or whatever, wherever you are in your neck of the world. And like I said before, they are on the gallery under the hashtag kittycatpwy or my origin ID, which is kittycatpwy16. And I'm going to get going right meow. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the Tell the Sawprint because I post new videos every damn day, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye! Hey my dudes, hope you enjoyed the video. Check out more in the playlist link down below.